What's going on guys? So we're here on a little evening explore. I didn't plan on exploring today, but I here I am. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be checking out this big mansion here. Um, it was built in 1978. Um, we've been here a while ago. Wanted to do another one because I think it's gonna be demolished soon and I just, a good place I think deserves two videos because Sometimes you miss things, and it also gives people a chance who haven't seen the original one to see this one. So, we both kind of win, right? Um, but anyways, we're going to show you the outside this time. I don't think I did in the first one. And uh, we're going to show you the inside. You probably just heard the smoke alarm chirp in there. It's, it's, been, a, it's been empty for a while, so we're going to be checking this place out. Now it's getting cold, it's getting dark. We're gonna get in here and out of here before it's dark. And uh, one last time before this house is gone. So hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you inside. Okay guys, so got this mansion here. As you can see nothing's been plowed or anything like that. We've got like deer tracks in the snow though or coyote or something so this house was built around 1978 to 1980 um it's a pretty big house you see it backs on to a nice like just rural setting um if i rush through this it's more or less because i don't want it to get dark while i'm in here so, but anyways, there it is. Nice big house. Nice, beautiful backyard. There's no pool or anything, but uh, still nice. Um, let's see here. Front door is locked. Okay. So this looks familiar. It's probably because it is. <laughs> um. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the wind. Okay, so this is a little revisit. I was out and I wanted to refilm it. I liked this house and so you can probably tell there's no noise. The power is completely cut off. House is being gutted and then it'll be demolished. So front foyer here, front door. I don't think we need to go through the front hall closets. You can hear the smoke alarms dead and chirping. This staircase is beautiful. You guys know I like a good oak staircase. Another closet there. So double closet when you come in. Um, I'm gonna try and... Open the curtains, let a little light in. The den with oak walls and bookshelves. And you can see the floor is kind of buckling from like the cold and the, the water. You can see there's even mold growing on this desk. But I love the oak. That's really nice. Oh, that can't open because the floor is buckled. Nice French door too. But uh, yeah, no, nice little den or slash office. And then uh, let's get through here, oh boy. Um, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, there's the chandelier, it's still up there. That 
wind, man. It sounds like someone's coming in and it freaks me out. This floor is really getting bad. It's like all wavy. I don't know if you can see that in the light there. It's like really wavy, every piece of floor. So here's the living room, couch, a little like table here, nice fireplace. The original color behind the gray was definitely like this salmon 80s pink, which is cool. Nice big rooms. When a house is empty, it really gives you an idea of, you know, how much room you have to play with and so many different ways you could set this room, just this room alone up, you know, like just as a good example. These French doors are, or not even French doors, I don't know what you'd call these. I've never seen doors like this. The ones that like fold like that, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, you can see they're saving all like the nice molding and stuff out of the, the kitchen and all the cabinets and stuff. So that's cool. But anyways, yeah, that's a nice fireplace. That's really nice. I wasn't gonna film this, I filmed it already, but I'm like, I'm out here, it's gonna be demolished soon. I'll do a little revisit, it was a good house. Uh, floor is buckling there. I've definitely noticed some changes. There are some differences, like stuff moved and missing and stuff. I think it's more or less people salvaging. Because I think last time we were here, there was like drinks on this table or something. There's not any more. This is the dining room, obviously. Wayne Scotting there is nice. This like uh, china cabinet. Pot lights have all been removed, or I guess uh, some people call it recessed lighting. Chandelier is gone, but I don't like about this is that is not whatsoever centered with the room, and I don't like that. But nice hardwood oak floors. And you've got a kitchen here. Oh, there's the drinks there. Yeah, it's being gutted and stripped. It looks like the kitchen was renovated fairly recently. I'm sorry for the chirp of that dead alarm. The old uh, light switches too, that's cool. And that is a bathroom. Oh, look at the foil wallpaper, wow. I'm gonna turn my light on here. So, get an idea of the nice foil wallpaper. That's cool, I don't know what that even is. It's just a little decoration. Like glass blocks almost, the lights. Medicine cabinet. This floor is effed up. And for like a floor that doesn't look that old, it's kind of concerning. But uh, nice kitchen, decent size, you know. Like this molding is just beautiful. Yeah. Really nice island here. Like this isn't even open. This The AHA or the sparkling water? Well, AHA is sparkling water. Is there an expiry date? February 7th, 22. Okay, so if that expired in 22, it's been here for a while. What's that? Garage door openers and stuff. Tonic water, premium tonic water. And then you've got like collagen infused spring water that I'm guessing is like watermelon flavored. Nice big sink. Yeah, nice, uh, fairly modern kitchen. Oh my God, the floor's buckling. I almost just ate. I can't say that. Does this not open? Shutters don't open? Oh, they're like, no, those are like seized in. What? Oh, that one opens. <laughs> I think this is pine. And then obviously you have a nice big stone fireplace. Floors are buckling everywhere, man, that's bad. That's bad. Got to walk out here to the backyard. 
a nice 70s light fixture with some crown molding up above. That, god damn, where is it? Where is the smoke alarm? I don't even see it. Bathroom, oh, I remember this bathroom with the matching curtains on the wallpaper. I remember this. <laughs> nice little two-piece bath. Was there not a mirror here last time? Or am I just crazy? This is, oh, what in the hell? Okay, this was not here. Okay, we're not gonna show a plate, but it's a, uh, what is on the hood? What the? Yo, it looks like dried blood. It is all over the hood. Weird, I'm not gonna go through it, but that's weird. Okay then. Well, there's your laundry room. In a closet. So many closets. Like, crazy. Okay. Well, that's the bottom floor for you. If I could get in and out of here before it gets dark, that would be the goal. I'm gonna show you the basement now because I know we can't explore it. So I'm just gonna go show you this now. It is flooded and it's deeper now than it was last time I was in here. There's a nice fireplace there, but can't explore it. And it's gross and moldy in here. So we're just not gonna go down there. I don't know what this is. I've seen it, but I don't know what it is. So if anyone knows, Please inform me. Okay, we're gonna start back corner and work our way over. Okay, we have a bedroom with a view of the backyard. And it has a closet. Decent sized bedroom, I like the green. That fan looks sad. Closet. There's the bathroom, I like the glass bowl. It's different. Different sink with the old original cabinet doors that are just like painted. Same backsplash in the kitchen. Medicine cabinet. And your big glass shower and a toilet that's dirty that we're not gonna look at. Nice glass shower though, that's cool. So like they modernized like part of this house, definitely. Look at the frost on the windows. <laughs> oh, that's mold. That's black mold on the windows. Oh my gosh, from all the, the moisture. Oh, wow. That's bad, it goes all the, oh, that's bad. That's so bad. <sighs> this room, I think, is about the same size as the other one. Floor's buckled up there. It's not like even water damage. It's simply just because it's cold. This is beautiful. Like that is just gorgeous. I hope they save that, but they probably won't because it's in most people's eyes very outdated. Yeah, it's beautiful landing up here. Very typical 1980s upscale house here. This is another moldy, gross window. Ugh. Built in little shelf unit here. I don't know what this room would have been. Maybe not. Oh, okay, there you go. So, it has all the signs of abandoned, flooded basement, mold, water damaged ceilings, buckled floors, you know, 
It's not doing well. I love this, man. And that's the real glass, too. That's not like the plastic crap. Here's master, double doors, lots of windows. I think the fin finishing touch in here would have been a fireplace there because below us is that living room where a fireplace would have fit right there perfectly. So there's a window looking out front. And then you have like an entertainment center here with like, you probably have like a TV or something here, I'm guessing. But like, look at the brass. Like, that's such an 80s, you know, thing. The, all the brass, the like, vents are brass, everything. Nice wood floors. Got a closet here in the corner. His and hers, because you have two closets. There's the tie rack. Alarm speaker, I think. Big bedroom. Was there not something here last time? I don't know. And then, okay, yeah, I remember this, the master bathroom. This is probably my favorite part of the house other than the stairs. So you have the tub with the mirror to say, what is up guys? Wallpapered ceiling. Cool old 70s looking tile in here, 80s tile. This bathroom, very 1980. <laughs> 1980, one of the big colors in design was brown. And really all through the late 70s into around 1982 ish, this whole color palette was very, very common in upscale houses browns and beiges and burgundy and tan and just those dark tones. So, but that's about it. Oh, you even got mold growing on the spindles. That's what those are called, right? Spindles? That's cool, look at the sun. Is hitting the chandelier and it's reflecting off of the wall. Can I get a picture of that actually? I got this cool ability. You can be filming and take a picture at the same time. I want to turn you guys sideways for one second. That's awesome. The light is hitting it perfectly. Oops, buckled floor. <laughs> That's beautiful. Nice molding above there too. Okay. I don't think, no, we didn't miss anything. Um, nice landing here, you can put like a plant or a little decoration. Um, but anyways, I think that's about it. I'll show you the front of it if you want. Um, but this wasn't supposed to be anything super crazy. Just thought, you know, pop in, do a little revisit. Did not expect a vehicle in the garage. I know that was not there last time. Um, but uh, yeah, thought I'd pop in. Who knows, next time we come by, it might be gone. So, uh, nice house, man. Such a shame. Like, I say it in every video I know, but it's so wasteful, man. Oh, I didn't notice that that's not wallpaper. That's like backsplash tile. I didn't see that first time around. And you notice here how every tree is 19. 20, they're all marked. This is, they're counting how many trees. To my understanding, those are all being cut down. So you see that wood fence? Those are staying. The ones surrounded by that fence, they get to stay. The ones not, like this, this, those all have to get cut down, unfortunately. But, uh, but anyways, I think that's about it. So, um, I guess we'll head out the back here and we'll walk around the front and we'll wrap it up. So let's go out here. Okay, so you've seen the backyard. Um, I think it backs onto like a driving range or something. But uh, yeah, there you go. Nice, big, beautiful house. See if I can get a nice picture here. There we go. These old poor trees that have grown here for 45 years are just going to be cut down. Oh, 
let's go around the front here and I'll uh, show you the front of the house. There you go, nice big house. Isn't that pretty beautiful? Got a big bush here. Got pillars at the end of the driveway there. And, uh, ah, so, I like the front door, the design on it. Like this whole, like, you know, ah, such a shame. Okay, guys, that's it. Thought I'd show you this one more time and get it while I was able to. Okay, guys, that does it. That does it for that one. One last little visit. There she is. Um, it's sad to me because, like, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm standing out here taking my pictures. And, like, like I explained about the tree protection fence. Let's use this one right here, for example. This tree, not protected. This will be cut down. This has grown here since 1978 or 1980. Same with this big old one here. Such a shame that this is just going to be a cleared out lot. And then you have this perfectly good house. Well, it might need some work because it's been vacant for a bit. But, like, minor things. Like, it's not like a teardown. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. What can you do? Um... Thank you guys for watching though. If you did watch to this point, uh, hit like, comment, subscribe. We're over, I think 106,000 now, which is amazing. Um, comment down below what you thought of this house, if you've already seen it. Maybe we've seen something in here that we missed the first time, whatever. Um, and don't forget to like it if you did. So um, that's it for this one. I will catch you guys in the next adventure. And uh, so long old house. Okay, peace guys.